So Guardians of the Galaxy came out, and that basically marks the end of superhero movies for 2014. Well, I mean, there's also Ninja Turtles coming out, but I'm not really including that. For me, the superhero movies this year were Captain America the Winter Soldier, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, X-Men Days of Future Past, and Guardians of the Galaxy. Those are the ones I'm counting, deal with it. No Robocop, no Ninja Turtles, no Transformers. Anyway, now that we have the ground rules, I wanted to take a look today at what was the best superhero movie of the year. Let's start. Okay, so I have this roster here. I will be placing these movies like this. Oh, and just before we begin... Okay, fine, we'll give it a chance. But spoiler alert, there is a 99.9% .9 chance, actually more like 100, that it's going to end up in number 4. Now, I'm pitting two movies against each other, and the winner of each of those rounds will go against each other for first place. First up, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 versus Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy wins, next round. Okay, I'm just saying, comparing these two movies is like comparing a revolver and a tank. One is bigger, stronger, and is so much better at what it does. Guardians was hilarious, action-packed, and had memorable characters who I now love as much as the Avengers. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was basically the opposite of that. There's no competition. Guardians takes this in a landslide. Next up, Captain America the Winter Soldier versus X-Men Days of Future Past. Now this one is really tough. I loved both of these movies. The thing that makes both of these movies so great for me are the great mixes of action and interesting complex stories. Also, there were really great fleshed out characters, what with Black Widow, Nick Fury, and Falcon for Captain America, and X-Men which had really good, more relatable, and interesting versions of Magneto and Professor X. Ultimately, I want to call this a tie because they're just so awesome, but in the end, only one of these movies can make you cry. And by this much, X-Men takes it. Okay, third place round, Captain America vs. Spider-Man 2. Are you kidding me? Spider-Man, duh! I'm joking, obviously. Winter Soldier wins. I really don't need to explain. Let's just get to the finale, Cap wins hands down. I don't even know why I let The Amazing Spider-Man 2 into this thing. Okay, now for the finale. Guardians of the Galaxy vs. X-Men Days of Future Past. Both of these were just incredible in my opinion, and both in their separate ways. I can only really describe Days of Future Past as more epic. Yeah, it had its fun bits, like with Quicksilver and all that, but it's quite a bit more serious than Guardians. It has a more clear message about hope and determination. Guardians, on the other hand, isn't as serious or as epic as X-Men, but it is really funny and just a lot of fun all around, and it still had some great action and some really touching and sad moments. It's like comparing Harry Potter with The Lord of the Rings. And while they're both great, it just comes down to what you like more. Serious and really epic and intense, or pretty epic and intense, but really fun. And ultimately, I like the latter. I'm not saying Guardians of the Galaxy is way better than X-Men. Of course not. I loved all of these movies. If you watched my reviews of these two, I gave Days of Future Past a 9.7 out of 10, and Guardians a 9.8 out of 10. Yeah, that close. So, in my opinion, Guardians of the Galaxy was the best superhero movie this year. But, in the long run, this year was great for superhero movies. Cap, X-Men, and Guardians were some of the best superhero movies ever. And, well, let's just forget about that one. Anyway, what was your favorite of these four? Tell me in the comments below, even if it was The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.